It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Hey, welcome, my friends. Welcome to the show that never ends. It's... <laughs> it's... It's the Bob and Tom Show! Bob and Tom. ladies. Yahoo! Yahoo! Uh, November 8th. Yikes. 2021. The Roaring Twenties. <laughs> Let me hear a roar out of it. Chris, let me hear a roar. roar. Arr. Arr. Oh, that was good. Oh, thanks. You get your bangs cut? Oh, I need them cut. They look great. Don't touch them. Oh, thanks. You always say that when she you're... She bangs, right. she bangs. I can't see. Is that good? Well, you're not going like to be it? happy until she looks like a, a, a dog. Cousin that's, It. Yes, that's what he wants. Hair is very nice. I was trying to make a compliment. Speaking of can't see. Hi, Josh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Who, I'm sorry, who was that speaking? <laughs> yeah, you have glasses on. Josh, he's well, sure new glasses. Used to, and they're about to go in the garbage. Hey, that guy, how are you? <laughs> Hi, Chick, how are you? There's, there's Ace Cosby, hey. there's Willie, uh, I'm Chick, and here's yeah, Tom. A close circuit to uh, Josh's uh, friends and fans. What are the name of the lenses you have in there Progressives, now? Progressives, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, AOC approve them. They're that progressive. Yeah, they're yes, so yeah. progressive. I had to pay for them. They listen to uh, <laughs> listen to NPR. It does take a while. And they identify as sunglasses. I never yeah. do. They do. Uh, yeah. It does take a while, but you do get used to them. Oh, yeah. Because I am very skeptical. I just no, I have been wearing them for to, years. I just try to get used to readers like that, and uh, they almost drove me extra mad. And you have, I threw you them have in the trash. reading, middle, and then far? Is that how you have it? Throw them in the trash. Do you have three ways? What do you got? I don't know what these are. All I know is they're mostly blurry. Okay. <laughs> you, you get used to you have Shouldn't to glasses your... adjust to my eyes? My eyes shouldn't have to adjust to glasses? You have to so. tilt your head to... Figure out I don't where. I have to do that. <laughs> I think I know someone who has I forget one contact and one eye and, and a different one in the other. Yeah, I don't know how they do and that. And then a set of lenses for some stuff. It's I. It's miraculous that, that I mean it's very it's so nice that we can like one eye. have our vision fixed. But there's some it complicated. Is. It's going to take you a while. Well, we all have things we have to get used to in life. That'd be an interesting list. Yeah, I the know. things you have to get used to. Yeah, but what takes the longest? Uh, I know the shortest is the taste of beer. I think that takes about <laughs> you know? uh, about uh, 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 first day of summer. college. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I want college, you know, for the sake of <laughs> yes. yes, Christy. The longest uh, the day first day. two days after being twenty-one. I'm going to guess uh, coworkers. Oh, how about that? I can remember the first time I tasted beer. I was in the steps of Roy Keithley's house. Oh, his, his dad so was, I was uh, sitting on really a brilliant engineer. Yeah, yeah, brilliant uh, engineer. Oh, his, his, his company, Keithley Instruments, still. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, do you have any poor friends? Household name, yeah. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't really talk about poor Eric. No, he doesn't. <laughs> but I, can, but I, I remember, I, remember I, I was like, I don't know, 15. Do you want to taste a beer? I went, sure. And I took a sip and thought, I'll never drink that. I know, I never I was liked wrong. It. <laughs> <laughs> but there are things in this life we have to get used to. Never liked it. And uh, I, I think wearing glasses is one of the toughest. Well, I don't know if you guys know me very well, but I am a, uh, what, what they call a quitter. Yeah. Uh-huh. So these, uh, I don't know that I will get, get to the point where I'm used to these. Oh, I have a new story. give up? Yeah. I have a new story today. When I read it, oh boy, I saw the headline. I went, oh, thank you, God. It's a Monday, and these two words alone will... Oh, Lord. Will make the show for me. Shards in there somewhere? No. <laughs> But uh, it's a. You can't it's, blame me. No, I know. It, Which it's, one are we talking about? Well, I'm not going to give it away. Uh, it just, <laughs> I bet. I bet you do. I bet he does. Uh, um, oh, is Christy. the cobra involved? No, not the cobra one. Oh, that's a good one though. That's about, a really. Good uh, one. How about an eagle? Uh, nope. It just involves Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. When you when I read that, I thought, oh, this is going to make Josh so. Would happy. you? Oh, if you had to, would you? Eat an eagle for Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. Oh if you had. Wait, if you had to? You wanted to maintain a tri- a poultry tradition. I see. And there were no turkeys available. Would you eat an eagle? <laughs> I say yes. Probably without good. a They're without probably, a aren't, second wouldn't they be it. very tough? Yeah, Why? I would think so. They'd be Why? healthy, though. Because it's their muscles. <laughs> I and... bet you they're delicious with caramel inside <laughs> I bet you that's all what... sorts of stuff. Maybe that's why they became almost in state. All extinct. the elite are eating extinct. eagles for dinner every you... night. Yep. Oh, the I president bet. has eagle every night I for dinner. I bet they taste like freedom. <laughs> 
Bezos eats eagle. Yeah. Musk eats yes. eagle. Yeah. No, they do. Don Don not Hedley. eating eagles, Don people. Hedley. He fries. <laughs> <laughs> fries. Well, I like an fries. eagle. Glenn fries. Glenn fries. Glenn fries. Mm. Uh, it's just, well, we got to play it. Time yeah. helps some species, uh, species, species. What you think was going to happen? Come back to hunger. I blame myself. <laughs> Glad one creature, creature, creatures in danger no longer. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I wanna fry up an eagle <laughs> just to see. Oh look! What? An 83-year-old man from Alabama started walking the Appalachian Trail when he retired more than 25 years ago. He hasn't been seen since. <laughs> I, I was a burden to my family. No, sir. I just walk up. I and wanted my friends to join me. I have all these jackets <laughs> from <laughs> the Good Time Gang. The Good Time the Gang. The Good Time Gang's back. The they kicked me out, but I was no out. longer oh, having a Baby sent the grandbabies I my ass. Away. I'm look for some tang out in the highway. Ah, uh, his. His name is... Even the bears won't eat me. <laughs> Sonny Eberhardt strode yes. into the record book. Sunday is the oldest hiker to complete the Appalachian Trail. Eberhardt, known by the uh, trail name Nimble Will Nomad. <laughs> All right. That's, that's right. It's a hell of a moniker. <laughs> Acknowledge that despite... Wait a minute. His name, is his name Will? Uh, Mr. No, his name's Sonny. Sonny. What it's do they call him? Says... Nimble Will. Oh. No, that's the name of the trail, right? I don't know. <laughs> oh, what would you say? Oh Eber Eberhart, known by the trail name Nimble Will Nomad. Oh, that's his trail. He, you have that's trail name. Right. Yes. Do you get to pick your own trail if name? If you you'd listen to you? the story one time through instead of talking, you're right. <laughs> so what happened to the guy? Is he dead or something? No, he set a world record, didn't he? Just walking. Yeah, acknowledged despite having tens of thousands of miles under his belt, belt the trail was Beal. tough going. Moron. <laughs> it's a belt. So it's, it's a long, long trail, okay? Yes, it is. <laughs> he can't breathe. So what did he say about it? Despite having... <laughs> this, this is so... Why, why don't you read the story? Right? I answered the question, does an 83-year-old crap in the read woods? It. As you can see, I tore it up. <laughs> So why don't you enlighten us? I'm incapable. He said he of had quite it. a few spills on slippery rocks. He fell. Oh God! <laughs> he fell down. He said in a recent interview, "I've got a couple of skid marks on me, but I'm okay." We are 83, but you've got some skid marks. <laughs> See, my he God, just wanted to get at a God. poop joke. <laughs> Was that the two words earlier? Or, or no, one story no, 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 no. Two did words you, in the news coming up that'll make Josh. Did you see CBS happy. Sunday Morning? I did not. They had an 83-year-old pole vaulter on. Of course they do. Younger was, than most viewers. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. I cut their audience in half. <laughs> yeah. What was your I'm record, I'm not watching that Pat? kid. Me, 12-8. 12-8. <laughs> he was, he's vaulting nine kid. feet at 83. Look at this wow. damn That's pretty punk, amazing. Punk kid. <laughs> Why the last shot of him, he, he plants the pole in his arms. <laughs> No. No. Fall off. No. 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 He plants the they pole. They just, they fall off. They don't break or anything. <laughs> he, was... They just snap no. off. <laughs> and his body goes flying over the he bar. He plants the pole onto a sack. Oh, <laughs> no. Yes, that's good. Sack is sagging yeah. so much. Yeah, he plants oh. him onto a sack. His arms no, no, fall no, off. Pat was a pole to, every time. Yeah. I had to laugh because during the story, they were saying he's the most decorated octogenarian pole vaulter. And then the guy goes, admittedly, the only one. <laughs> yeah, what are those people they line on they line on up at the Apple store? No no, it's old folks taking pole vault lessons. This is terrible. This is a terrible Did subject matter. Well, it was Boy. I isn't mean, it, I was happy for the man, but it was just kind the of... The youngest one in the room is showing respect. <laughs> he's the <laughs> only one. Just awful. That this guy's going to he's gonna end up shish kebabbing himself. <laughs> no, I'm sure he is. Josh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> you guys, this there is goes so my rib. cynical. Oh, God. Even... You know, you heard last week, my arms just fell off. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what a prolapse stain is? Yeah. <laughs> well, no. you hit the box at 20 miles an hour <laughs> and your ass turns inside out. amazing shit. Yeah, that ain't a pink tail. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped. My anus didn't. <laughs> That's right. I kept going. Yeah. Uncoiled like a hose. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised how much intestines you get. You hug me. I'm a human party favor. <laughs> 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 so is in the How worst. do you start to learn pole vault? 
Where did, I, That's the only guy that ever... Oh, no, he didn't, they didn't show how he started. Yes, tell us everything. I mean, you. that is an amazing... Think about that. That is, it has to be one of the hardest things to do. I no. think you're just, the stick does all the work. Yeah, I think you're just not strong enough to be the guy that throws the thing, and you no can't one jump high enough. The thing. That's... Oh, that's that's, that's, that's a big man's game. Every oh, pole vault, put? every pole vault I ever knew was incredibly strong in his upper body and was somewhat of a lunatic. He didn't care. But you have to be. Yeah, you fall yeah. a lot. Well, this guy was amazing. I'm not kidding. Eighty three. Okay, well, good clear luck the way for the youth. Sir. You know, my arms fell off. Did you hear? <laughs> <laughs> Just fell off. That's how good a grip he had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't give up. Oh, oh, you know, a lot of momentum just ripped him right off. <laughs> feed me lunch. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> now, at one point, at one point. Pat you promised, come open this soup. <laughs> yeah. Pat promised he would pull vault again. Yes, he did. Pre back surgery. Oh, said that. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, there's, oh, that, there's that, that. I'm not doing it now. You're not going to be satisfied until you kill Godwin on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> you won't. You're you killing my ex wife. I hope you're happy. You I, I, tried to kill me. Now he, you're trying to kill Godwin. He, he volunteered this. Before back surgery. I, I, uh, yeah, we have it on, and I said we probably have it on tape. We did, it was probably a daguerreotype. It was so long ago. And we still have him, uh, he, you, your pole vaulting is on video, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's up there somewhere in the Bob and Tom. It was okay. recorded the same day that uh, Buster Keaton uh, <laughs> did a couple movies. Um, it was that fast. It was not sped up. Yeah. Uh, I have the audio. <laughs> there it is. There's Pat Godwin. How are you, everybody? Welcome. Okay. Vaudeville actor. Pat Most days they wore long pants during track and field. <laughs> That's right. There's his buddy Bill Tilden on the way to tennis. Oh, he's, he's, giving, he's giving Pat a really wet kiss. That's a wet. Uh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, that pole so is weird. made out of uh, connected dodo bone. That's right. That's a heavy, heavy pole. Four out of five pole vaults just smoke parliaments. <laughs> like every doctor suggests you should. <laughs> I thought Friday you mentioned you were going shopping this weekend. Oh, that was an error. Oh, you did end up going? Yeah, I, there was an incident. <laughs> oh. There was an incident? <laughs> yeah, um, it was fault. just me and Kelly. and uh, Oh, no. I was at the oh. mall, and I had to use the the men's room. Oh, all right. all right. And she goes, I'll meet you, and she points to some obscure store or some. <laughs> of course, it's her I've fault. Never in there and <laughs> I've never been in there. So I, so I go, walk into the store. After, real, you, after you've used the restroom. Yeah, yeah no, big, no problem there. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I can see her. She's holding up this T-shirt. I'm, I'm from the back, holding up this T-shirt, looking at it. And I walk up right behind her, right next to her, and go, you're not going to get that. <laughs> That's when the strange lady who was holding the shirt oh. turns around. Oh. <laughs> And I went, oh, God, so sorry. Oh. So you were magooing about town again. And yep. this woman is yep. wearing a, a black jacket, has the exact same hair color, hair length. <laughs> oh, my God. Then Kelly emerges oh from behind my. a bunch of clothes over that way. And goes, oh, I, was, I thought you were her. And then I was hoping that I would get some kind of, oh, you know, aren't you lovely? You right, would. right. Because these two, I, in a police lineup, they would have been identified. <laughs> I bet that no. there's something like they had the same shoes on. You know, they they thought it was the same Identical person. hair. <laughs> that is they so funny. Hair. Did she find it amusing at all, this lady? Fortunately, oh, she was uh, she was very nice. Oh, okay, good, good. Sweet. Were you trying to pick her up and this is your cover story? <laughs> you are, you're not going to get that. <laughs> yeah. uh, could have been somewhat uh, <laughs> unfortunate if she if she'd ended up purchasing it. I didn't stick around. It was some embarrassing, you know, one of those slogans on uh, <laughs> some, you know, $85, $300 or $300 t-shirt. God knows what it was. Is there anything funnier than that? Well, uh, learn not to be your parents uh, cur- commercial right now where the guy's buying the shirt that he's wearing. Oh. I love that. And it's the guy looks at him and goes, think about it. <laughs> Have you seen that shirt? Before? <laughs> so and he goes, well, I'm still going to get it. <laughs> I mean, I've done the thing where I've tried to get in someone else's car by mistake. but Right. How many times? Oh, I've done that a few times. <laughs> oh, my God. I got, I, More often than not. I got into a car that was the same as my car. Got in the car, went, I don't smoke cigarettes. Why does this car stink? Oh, Looked to my right, and there was some weird package on the passenger seat. Realized, oops, wrong car. <laughs> Punch. Some weird package. Of course, everything should have been weird. And in that you know, you. now it's getting cold. <laughs> People are going to be leaving their cars running outside of businesses. Oh, sure. You're going to steal someone's car, oh. and you're not going to. Wouldn't know that t- be funny if you drove <laughs> off? 
and gets like halfway down the street. Well, I don't, I'm not a policeman. Hey. <laughs> hey, I shouldn't be driving this car. When did this guy become a stick? <laughs> well, uh, some officer left it there. I don't know what he was thinking. No, the worst one when I was trying to get into a... Um, I used to have a black Jeep, Jeep Grand Cherokee, great car. And I was uh, trying to get into it, and um, this person comes up and goes, excuse me, that's my car. But, oh, so, sorry, so I've got the same car. And then uh -huh. I realized I'd driven my white Suburban <laughs> over to Home Depot. So, that so this guy sees me walk from the Jeep over to this big white car thinking, oh, Burke was doing this deal in my car. <laughs> so more or less verifying that you're insane as you were doing that. Uh, just, you know, it's confusing sometimes. Well, you just have a lot on your mind. That's right. Yeah. That was that was oh kind of thank God. God that woman thought that was funny. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. My my other thought was what if Kelly had gone to a different store? Then it would have been, oh, uh, you look just like and then I'd be looking around <laughs> oh. <laughs> frantically. <laughs> I mean, it was identical from the back. <laughs> I'm so oh, Black shit, jacket, yeah. blonde hair, identical. same length from the back. You are going to get in trouble one yeah. of these days. Yeah, I sure is. We got Stabbed. Be we, got, we have to get you an assistant, so a driver, someone. To, we can get like a cool English guy for you. Oh, oh yeah. No, right? Come on. I Emerson, have... Emerson, please. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to Restoration I Broadway. The place you've got to be careful. I was at the Children's Broadway. Museum Here we go. and almost grabbed the wrong kid. Don't take the wrong oh kid. Oh, my God. <laughs> but no, no, no. I mean, I wasn't leaving the building. I mean, it... But did you hear oh. what he said? Well, you got to be careful there. You'll get the wrong kid. <laughs> yeah. What the hell they're is the wrong same, with they're you? The same, they're the same height. <laughs> he feel guilty about it, so we have to keep the new kid. Oh, that's new Finley. She's fun. She's cool, new Finley. Yeah, I don't know oh. what happened to old Finley. She loves, her, she loves her new room. New <laughs> Look at these nice toys. <laughs> loves her new room. God. Sorry. You're out on your feet. <laughs> you got to get a guy. You got to get a nice. guy. Fine. He can be British. Personal assistant, you can call I him. I have a personal assistant. Yeah, I've but been, she doesn't have the time to follow you around. Does she even answer your phone, phone yeah, calls Poor anymore? Amy, I feel bad for her. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, anyway. She started making sound effects when she answers the phone, like she's uh, in traffic and it's really <laughs> just a hair dryer. <laughs> beep, beep. Uh, I've got to lose you here. I'm going behind the mountain. I'm in the uh, canyon. What canyon? <laughs> didn't kiss, but okay. <laughs> I thought it's comedy, horse Christy. didn't kiss. <laughs> well, the professionals. See, that's uh, that's what the, those words need, need to be clarified. Can you get them to kiss if you're uh, Josh? Can you pay for that? <laughs> I would imagine there's probably oh, any, right. anything right. is negotiable. My mother think. is still alive. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll talk about it after she comes. Okay. All right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Very good. Now, is your mom going to have Thanksgiving somewhere? Uh, no, she is. Yeah, her and her husband are going to have... Uh, Anywhere they want because he's... Uh, <laughs> it's entire... I blame, I, I blame myself. <laughs> your mother's rich, right? Oh, no, no, no. She, there's a misunderstanding here, Chick. She's married to a man named Rich. <laughs> She's not actually rich. And Chick, do you know, do you know that that bit, uh, an audience member yelled that at Josh during our shows in Bloomington two weeks ago? <laughs> Did you know that uh, an so audience member hope. yells that at me every show I do? <laughs> For no reason. Does it fail to get a laugh every time? No, no. It gets uh, a good percentage of the audience. For those who don't know the bit, it's baffling. But mm -hmm. uh, that's You right. don't want to talk to him, man. You're about people like Tom. You don't want to uh, suffer. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Well, let's, um, let's move forward. No, here. but they're having it done in Florida because they're both having a surgery done near Thanksgiving. Well, so this could be tragic. Not going to be able to oh travel. <laughs> they're exchanging <laughs> genitalia. What's happening? What That's of? right. They went, you know what? Why don't we trade? Both, see how this. I'd like to be behind every once in a while. Let's, Says do, mother. A little, let's do a little you, Freaky Friday thing. Tom, has anyone ever told you you're horrible at small talk? Has anybody said that? Yeah, Kelly yeah, was telling me that this oh, week. Good Lord. Lord. What yeah. a mess. She's telling I, you are uh, terrible at small talk? Uh, and my one of my daughters, I'm going, uh, do you realize that I am a paid professional <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to small talk? Ah, what a mess. She's uh, got my uh, my eight-year-olds now on her side. And well, rightly so. Well, I mean, to be fair. Yeah. She can reason. She can see. You're going to run. There's going to be. There's going to be a time when you run out of being able to make more kids. And I'm pretty sure at this point you're medically nuts. I'm pretty sure you're not just full-blown crazy. Yeah, I think he's I right. Think it's, yeah, that's good. Um, uh, Hello, Bob and Top Show. Bob and Tom, it's Kenny Tormack. <laughs> hey, Kenny! Okay. 
Hey, shouldn't we just land it? I'm an ATL. Just got in from MCO through ORD. Can you guys hear me? I can barely hear you. I'm down to one bar. Uh, yeah, we can hear you. Hear you. you guys today. Had a huge weekend at MSP. Uh, you know, Tobik always says Saturdays are for the boys, and man, we blew it out this weekend big <laughs> time in the Twin Cities. Did you know? How's he saying? I know. I know. Well, best part was, Tom, we never left the Sky Club. It was Nirvana for me. Oh, boy. I know. I kept running into clients, and then competitors, and then old competitors, and then even uh, got a few cold calls. Best part, being Diamond Medallion, we had free drinks and free Wi-Fi all weekend. <laughs> and you know, with my buddy pass, I was able to recruit and entertain new clients during their layovers. Sort of hard to size up the uh, two-year renewal package when I meet you right there at the gate, Shooter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I know. That was truly a win-win. Oh, and I never knew Tobik was a Tito's guy. Oh. All these years, no idea. Uh, so things got a little wild at the Sunday morning mixer. Uh, let's just say too much Tito's can turn your CFO into court holio. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you the video. Yeah, he went from Tito's down to his tidy whities before we could say no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> I know. Only complaint, uh, you know, some people treat the Sky Club like it's their living room. Uh, these people that their kids run hog wild need to get the boot or yellow Carded. I mean, the Sky Club is a sanctuary for true business travelers. It shouldn't sound like a pet shop when the cookies come out. I mean, how am I supposed to run numbers, host webinars, and clip my toenails with these damn kids running hot laps around the snack bar? Am I right? Yeah. I told Tobik now to change the Wi-Fi password from gift card, all lowercase, to vasectomy, all caps. <laughs> no, no, no. He loved it. I guess he's going to use that today in the, in, in the mission statement. Hey, listen. I got to go from Bravo 4 all the way to Foxtrot 19. I'll call you from Phoenix. We just Oh, oh, thanks for that. Thanks, Jimmy. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.